All right, if you see something like this, see how it says that uh, f of x is greater than g of x, right here in purple? So without changing the inequality here, I'm just going to replace f of x with the expression that it is. So I'd have 8 minus 7x, and then I'm going to replace g of x with this expression, because that's what it is, negative 5x plus 18. Then I'm just solving this inequality for x. So what the heck is that? Um, let me get rid of that line. Love it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> me too. All right. So I'm going to put the x's on the right side so that I don't have to deal with any negatives. So in other words, I need to get rid of that 7x by adding 7x to both sides. See, that makes the coefficient of x positive, which means I don't have to worry about the negative garbage. Uh, by doing that, though, I need to get rid of this 18 on both sides because it is on the wrong side. So I got negative 10. This was a 0. And this is greater than or equal to uh, negative 5x plus 7x is 2x. So when I divide both sides by 2, I get x and compare it to negative 5. So negative 5 is greater than or equal to x. Let's go ahead and graph that on a number line. So at negative 5, so this would be negative 6 and negative 4. This one is equal to, so I have a bracket. It's not eating the x, so it's going to the left. So I would have a square bracket right here. And you could check if that's true or not as well. If I remember seeing right, they may ask for the solution set to be in set builder notation. We're just talking about the x, and then this would be the inequality. But you do need fancy brackets, so practice those at home because they are super fancy.